Good morning guys, we are back in Sao Paulo in the same hotel only on a higher floor and today we are going to show you a little piece of Asia in Sao Paulo in Brazil. This isn't that piece of Asia yet. Did you know that there are some 2 million Japanese living in Brazil? Most of them live in Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo has the biggest community of Japanese outside of Brazil. And right now we are going to one neighborhood of Sao Paulo where you can really feel the influence of Japanese culture in Brazil. Well, most of these people are Brazilian Japanese because most of them have been born in Brazil. It's only that their parents or grandparents or great-grandparents or great-great-grandparents emigrated from Japan to Brazil in 1900s. And uh, yeah, so the people came here to work, for example, in coffee plantations. Many were probably thinking that they will go back to Japan at some point, but um, at the end they stayed, many stayed. And so yeah, so right now there is this big community of Japanese living in Brazil. But why Brazil out of all countries? Why not go to some other country? Uh, it just happened so that at that time Brazil was run by Portuguese. Portuguese needed cheap labor. Europeans weren't interested anymore to come to Brazil and work here in plantations and so on. And yeah, and uh, Portuguese were kind of friends with Japanese. Japan was opening to the world at that time. And so yeah, so Portuguese brought Japanese to work in Brazil. To put it simply, people came to Brazil for a chance to better life. Now, now it feels okay here, but on a weekend it can be very creepy. Now it's a popular tourist place. Because of this beautiful church and also because of this... I might be wrong, but I think this is the... Like the starting point of the city, like the, the very center. The place from where Sao Paulo started. Some 500 years ago. Started from nothing and became the biggest city in all Latin America. We noticed uh, this and were really excited last time when we were here because we realized that it's the neighborhood we need to be. Those of you who know us for some time know that we love Asia. We have been uh, living and traveling in different countries in Asia for some seven years. So we were really excited when we found this neighborhood. And now let's go and see that grocery store. So pretty. A travel set of chopsticks. What a cool shop. What we are more excited about the food section. About all this. Not all. Because even we don't know all of that. Eat Asia. What a cool place. The uncle knows what he's talking about. And here comes the appetizer. Un postrito, as they say in Spanish. As they say in Mexico. I recognize this. It's Hong Kong double decker trams. And this is how they serve tea. Hello. Okay, let's go and see the neighborhood. A 
tiny Japanese garden park. Tiny, 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 tiny. And here in this building, there is a museum of Japanese emigration from Japan to Brazil. We visited this museum last time when we were in Sao Paulo and uh, this is where we learned these things about Japanese emigration to Brazil. And if you would like to learn more about this topic, you can also go to this museum and learn these things. Top feet. Can't wait when I return to Riga so I can go to my gym. By the way, gyms here are decently priced. Well, a single visit costs about 7 euros. It's not a free. Starting from 7 euros. By the way, this one is really nice. Ginger ice cream. Really good one. It's completely frozen. And this time, yeah. yeah. Nope, this was the wrong one. We want to show you one shopping center here. It must be somewhere here. A very interesting shopping mall. It's interesting to see how diverse is this city, Sao Paulo. For example, now we are near the Avenida Paulista in a, a neighborhood called Jardins and uh, here it's a completely different Sao Paulo. Would we be living here, not near the central station at the historical, the old uh, part of the city? We would have a completely different image of Sao Paulo in our mind. And here, yeah, here is the Avenida Paulista, one of the main streets in Sao Paulo. Yeah, and this is also where we'll finish this video. This most likely will be the last video from Brazil, from this uh, amazing country. Uh, so, see you from somewhere else in the world.